Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we have a little bit of a different setup. Uh, we're trying this new uh, form of... Podcast? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> kind of more of a podcast type conversation, but you can see our faces. <laughs> so <laughs> Video podcast. Yeah, so... Uh, we plan to make these and put them out every other Sunday, um, so we hope you enjoy them. Uh, but with the holidays coming up, um, next week is Thanksgiving for us mm -hmm. in America who celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, and so that comes a time of, you know, having family together and having these nice big meals. And uh, we wanted to talk about some of our favorite wines um, from... Sparkling wines yeah. to Zinfandels, mm. that's pretty popular during Thanksgiving, to cabs. Mm. So we get the question um, all the time and people, you know, since we're big um, fans of Napa Valley, we get questioned all the time, what are their, our favorite wines and um, what types of wine to eat with certain food. So Thanksgiving, there's a bunch mm. of stuff other than just turkey. So, um, but, you know, we have a few favorites that you you know, kind of start off with, with appetizers and you go into the next course and pair a uh, different type of wine pairs good with other foods. So, um, yeah, I mean, we have a few of our favorites that we want to be able to share with you guys. So, um, yeah, I mean, what, what, what do you want to start with? I think I'm going to start off with the, uh, Mum Napa Brute Prestige. Uh, this bottle of wine, it's sparkling wine. Um, so in this, particular bottle you can get get it from um kroger or your local um total wine total wine H-E-B. yes it, you're if if your local grocery store carries wine you can probably get uh this wine there um it retails for somewhere between 16 and 20 dollars uh, uh -huh. depending if you can get a buy six discount um but it's just a really nice an easy bottle of wine. Uh, so this is a Brut, um, so it's a little drier. Uh, they do have a blue label, which is the Cuvée M, um, and the Cuvée is a little uh, sweeter. So depending on what your palate enjoys, uh, this is a great option. So we love, and we drink this pretty often. I mean, it's this a, is a favorite. It's a great daily um, mm -hmm. wine. So, uh, I mean, we, we just mentioned Thanksgiving, but you know, the other holidays are coming up Hanukkah, Christmas, New Year's. So these sparkling wines are great um, to pop open. And, and especially if you go to say Kroger, for example, mm -hmm. and you get the 20% off for, uh, what is it, six bottles? Mm -hmm. Man, you're getting that thing for like six, 14, $15. Mm -hmm. So I'd stock up. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's great it's to great. have if you're hosting, even just outside of the holidays. It's just a great wine that a lot of people enjoy. And the other thing to it too is, um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of people out there that don't like red wine. Mm -hmm. um, they like more of the sweeter wine. Um, even though I mentioned that this the Brut Prestige is a little bit dry, but it is still sweet in mm -hmm. my opinion. Mm -hmm. So it's Definitely. it's a good it's a good wine for for really anybody. Um, I'm not particularly a big white wine drinker, but I'll drink sparkling. Mm -hmm wines all day long mm -hmm. um well all day long would be bad for me <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point <laughs> well uh, moving along to another bottle of mum um which is a winery only bottle uh this one is a sparkling pinot noir and it's very rare to find a good balanced mm. sparkling red wine and what's interesting is just the almost cranberry-like color that this wine gives off. So it's great for your Thanksgiving or your holiday uh, dinners and meals. Um, we tried this a few weeks ago mm -hmm. and we really enjoyed it. Um, it's 100% Pinot Noir. Um, and like I said, it's winery only. And I actually just checked on mom's website and they are sold out. So if you're interested in this, you got to get on it early. I think I bought this in, um, in August. So you got to get it early and stock up on it, but that, that's a good one for the holidays. Moving along to what I consider to be my celebration wine. 
Um, I can't think of a Christmas celebration with my family in the past five years where we haven't shared this bottle of wine. Uh, this is another uh, mum bottle. Uh, this one in particular is called Santana, and it is a collaboration with Carlos Santana himself. Um, this is a, I believe it's a 50-50 blend, uh, or no, excuse me, it's a 60-40 blend of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Um, and there's just something interesting about this bottle of wine. It's almost like the bubbles are smaller and like yeah. fizzier. Yeah. It's just a different experience. Um, but this is a more expensive bottle of wine. It is $50. Um, but like I said, I can't think of a Christmas celebration where my family's together and we haven't opened at least a couple bottles of these. So we've really enjoyed this one. Yeah, we went to Napa a few months ago over the summer. Was it in July? Mm hmm and we went to mom and um i definitely bought a couple bottles of antenna um it's definitely it's probably my favorite sparkling wine from mom probably one of my favorite sparkling mm -hmm. wines period so at 50 dollars, it's um you know it's a little bit on the higher end for for sparkling wine but yeah i mean for celebrations mm -hmm. um parties well not necessarily just parties but a big celebration mm -hmm. that's it's perfect yeah Perfect. Especially if you so. have a big group of people that enjoys mm -hmm. a, a finer palette of wine. Uh, that's just a really, it's a fun bottle to have. Um, just pour yours first. Yeah. And get <laughs> get <the> yours. <laughs> <laughs> and the last bottle um, that I wanted to bring up is, again, if you can't tell, I do love mum. Mm. Um, and this is just... A beautiful bottle. I mean, not only does it come with a charm, uh, but it just has this great presentation. Uh, this is DVX by Mum, um, and this is one of their um, most, I would say, exclusive labels. Uh, this bottle is a 2014 of DVX, and it is seventy dollars. Um, so, like I was mentioning earlier with the Brut Prestige, how the Brut is a little bit drier. Uh, this is a cuvee, so it's a little bit on the sweeter end. Um, but there's just, just something so elevated about this bottle of wine. Um, this is a, I believe this was a, this is the 50-50 blend of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Uh, so just a very balanced bottle of wine. And I know that each year that this label is made, um, mom will source the grapes from very exclusive mm -hmm. vineyards to make sure that they get the, just a really elevated bottle of wine. Yeah, I don't. You know, in my opinion, that's not a bottle to share. That's a bottle to enjoy <laughs> for yourself or, you know, um, one other. But um, mm -hmm. that's a great, that's a great bottle. Yeah, the last time we had this was for my birthday. Uh, we had a bottle of DVX Rosé. So, oh, yeah. and it was just him and I. We weren't sharing that one. Yeah, so. <laughs> no, that's, uh, like I said, we, you know, when we went to mom over the summer, um, I think we tried all the ones that you just uh I don't think we tried the um, sparkling Pinot. That yeah, was that new. one's hard to come by. I don't think, well, not new, right? It was just, it's just hard to find. Mm -hmm. um, but highly suggest if you're in the, if you go to Napa to definitely add um, mom to uh, one of your spots. Because mm -hmm. um, it's just, it has a cool atmosphere. They have great, you know, options. Um and it's reasonably priced too. I, I, I mean, I know we just mentioned a fifty and then a seventy dollar bottle, <laughs> but quite honestly, that that you can't brute go wrong. prestige yeah. that, that uh, we showed you in the beginning. I, I'll from. recommend this to anybody any day. This is by far one of my favorite bottles. Oh yeah, um, and just because you don't feel too guilty about drinking it. I mean, you really have to mm -hmm. build up the courage to pop open a 70 bottled <laughs> or $70 bottle of sparkling wine. But uh, like we said, if you can get this in a, a mass quantity of six or more and get a good discount, this is definitely worth stocking up on. Yeah, it's, it's a great, great everyday bottle. Um, it's a very, um, it's a good price point. Uh, they had so you mentioned the Cuvée M, mm -hmm. which is about the same price point with the blue label. And mm -hmm. there's a uh, what's the pink one called? It, they have a, it's a rosé, I think. Okay, isn't it? I d don't remember, um, but it's it's uh, the Brut Rosé. Let's see. I think it is Brut, brut yep, Rosé. Yep, Brut Rosé. Brut Rosé. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the Brut Prestige, the Cuvée M, and then the Brut Rosé. 
those three are about the same price um, that you could simply find at your grocery, mm -hmm. local grocery store, or Total Wine or whatever. Um, all three under $20 a bottle, which is still, you know, still a little expensive for wine, but um, great bottle to eat with anything, to share. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I highly suggest that. Yeah, if I'm going to have a toast, I'm not going to be serving champagne. I'll serve yeah. this Brute Prestige. So what I want to bring up, um, since we went through all the, the different sparkling wines that are essentially our faves, mm -hmm. um, is is going to more of the red wines. And because um, those are typically the ones that you would, you know, would typically uh, drink during dinner or appetizers mm -hmm. or whatever. I mean, actually don't really need to eat anything to, to drink, so. <laughs> Sit outside but, uh, and enjoy some cooler weather in yeah. Texas. So my, for the first one that I wanna show you guys is the uh, Cake Bread Pinot Noir. Now this specifically is the Apple Barn Vineyard um, Pinot Noir by Cake Bread. This is by far my favorite Pinot Noir. It's mm -hmm. probably one of my favorite um, red wines, mm -hmm. period. Um, geez, when we went to, and I keep saying that we went to Napa, but we did go to Napa last year, 2020, mm -hmm. in November. Mm -hmm. And I we really only went there so I could buy um, a case of this. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I'm running. He's only drink. I, I feel like we haven't drank. You've, you've been keeping oh, it gosh. for yourself. I, I, yeah, I savor it. <laughs> I don't drink this by myself, but I savor it. And we did open one up the other day. We did. So, mm -hmm. um, again, it's, it's, it is $60. Um, you only can buy the, the Apple Barn uh, Vineyard Pinot at the winery. But I believe you can get, um, is it Two Creeks? Mm -hmm. Two Creeks Vineyard um Pinot Noir by Cake Bread at at most of the Another local great. grocery stores. Total Wine. Another great Pinot. Now the the thing that's special about the Apple Barn is that the um, the vineyard is is grown or yeah it's grown you know right under actually not under right above um, an old apple orchard. So you do get those hints of apples mm -hmm. um, when you're drinking it. Um, gosh, it's just, it's- It's a light. It's, it's um, light. But also savory. I mean, it's just a great bottle. Yeah, I mean, you know, according to the winemaker notes, um, there's like hints of boysenberry, raspberry, um, hints of floral and violet, and you know, all these other different types of light flavors um and it goes well with really anything in fact what cake red recommends is that um that this pairs very well with lamb and and ribs prime rib prime rib sandwiches mm. so portobello mushrooms i'm not really a big mushroom <laughs> eater but unless they're stuffed mushrooms i do like stuffed mushrooms but if you gave me a plain mushroom forget it don't you'll just drink the wine oh uh, yeah the wine's fine <laughs> again one of my favorites um Highly recommend it, especially if you can get the, the Two Creeks one out of mm -hmm. the store. So That's a great bottle. Um, a little on the, on the pricey side, $60 in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, that's probably why I don't like to mm -hmm. you know, daily drink often. this. Yeah. But um, get it and go to cake. <laughs> if you go to Napa and go to Cake Bread. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, yeah. tour. Oh, yeah. The property mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. amazing. They mm -hmm. just expanded it. and. Um, it's gorgeous. So next bottle I uh, wanted to, to share with you guys is um, uh, a Zinfandel. Now this Zinfandel is specifically um, from Camus, so a Chuck Wagner um, wine. Uh, now most people are familiar with uh, Camus in terms of their Cabernets, mm -hmm. which is an excellent, excellent, excellent Cabernet. Um, highly suggest that too. But Thanksgiving, Zinfandel, you can't go wrong with drinking Zinfandel. Zinfandel goes with anything. Anything. Barbecue, pizza, anything. you name it. Um, burgers. Mm -hmm. It's just, it has a you know hint of spice to it. Mm -hmm. um, this one in particular, 
um, the Zinfandel was um, made in, in French and American oak uh, barrels. And um, it's pretty dense. It's dark. It has a dark purple red color to it. So it looks, it looks great in the glass. Um, you get that little bit of blackberry fig and toasted brown spices to it. But my goodness, you can, like I said, you can drink this with with um, eating really anything. Mm -hmm. So again, that's why um, Zinfandel is so popular during um, Thanksgiving because you have all There's those different types of fried turkeys food. and the spices of the turkeys, yeah. and um, it's it, it's great. Um, and this one in particular, you know, like we said, Camus has excellent. Uh, cabs mm -hmm. that are on a pricier scale point, uh, price point, but this in particular, I think is less than $40. No, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was like mid forties, like 45. Okay. So it's very reasonably priced. The only issue mm -hmm. is I don't think it's that big of an issue because maybe it is an issue. <laughs> you have to go to Camus mm -hmm. to, to purchase this. Uh, I believe you can call them and order it. Uh, I don't think you can buy any Camus uh, wines online. I think you have to to mm. order it over the phone because um, they don't have a membership, if I'm not mistaken. Is this one of the the winemakers that that don't carry? They don't push a membership. I don't. That's know right. If, they don't push yeah. memberships. So, which is good, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. Camus, whether you drink the Zinfandel or the Cab, highly recommend both. Um, and this one in particular, the Zinfandel. So. Um, Call them up. I'd or leave the number if I knew knew what it was. But uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, make the trip. Mm -hmm. What well, what is it? November. It's probably. Oh my goodness, we did. We went November twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my gosh, exactly a year, a year, ago. year ago. It was the weekend yeah. before Thanksgiving. Wow. And um, oh my gosh, the weather was amazing. Amazing. Amazing during the day. It was it was, it was quite cold. cold at night. And the only thing about November is that there really aren't any grapes to be seen mm -hmm. on the on the vines. So there's a lot of brown vines. Um, so it's just a different experience. Yeah. Um, also, last year in 2020, I mean, obviously everybody knows what happened in 2020, mm -hmm. but um, we had to experience. Uh, the wineries and the restaurants all outdoors. It was 100% outdoors, so that partly was a little uncomfortable eating dinner at night. They did have um, um, those, those, those heaters, heaters, but it was still cold. Um, but that doesn't mean don't go in November. Go. And that's actually saying a lot <laughs> because he's not one to get cold, but he, yeah, he was very I was cold. cold. So, uh, I, just prepare, bundle up. We we definitely weren't prepared. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Had a very light jacket with me, and it just wasn't enough, mm -hmm. but. Um, still had an awesome time. Drink more red wine. Warm up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. You know I can't drink a lot of wine. You cannot drink a lot of wine. So anyways, the last bottle I um, wanted to bring up or recommend to you guys is, is going to be a cab. Um, one of my favorite cabs of all time is the Jordan Cabernet. Um, the Jordan Cabernet is, is again, I guess... If you're a big Pinot Noir mm -hmm. drinker like I am, where you enjoy some of the lighter red wines, Jordan Cabernet is is one of the uh, lighter um, Cabernets in my opinion. It's a cab for a Pinot drinker. It is that's that's much actually lighter. a good way to put it. Um, it's it's readily available um, at the grocery store, Total Wine, mm -hmm. Specs, or whatever wherever you buy um, your wine. Um, I believe, right, it typically runs between $55 and $60 um, a bottle, The specifically the one from um, Alexander Valley. Actually, they're all Alexander mm -hmm. Valley. I was thinking Silver Oak mm -hmm. that has um, Napa. Napa and Alexander Valley. But Jordan, um, actually, no, this is one of the wineries that only makes um, Cabernet and Chardonnay. So that if you're a big white wine drinker, sh their Chardonnay is excellent too. And if you don't like Chardonnay, their Chardonnay is excellent. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's one, that's the first Chardonnay I met that I enjoyed. Um, and I believe the Chardonnay is what? $35. I, I think. think so. Somewhere around there. So this, um, Cabernet specifically, it's, it's actually a blend, even though it says Cabernet, um, it's, it is 80% Cab, 10% uh, Merlot, 8% Petit Verdot, 
and 2% Malbec. So it is, it is a blend, but it is super smooth. Um, again, just, and I guess in my opinion, because it's, it's a little bit on the lighter side, you generally can eat it with, um, a variety of, of, of foods. So again, lamb, roasted chicken, mm -hmm. um, you know, pork loin, different types of, uh, roasted, uh, vegetables. Um, it's just, a daily drinker in my opinion just not if you can afford it just not a daily <laughs> drinker at 55 or 60 dollars yeah. there's people out there that do that but mm -hmm. no 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 i'm not no i, I like we savor these bottles. yeah I, I savor this and in fact this one's a 2015 i have a couple of 2012s that i've kept for a while now claire's mad that we haven't opened them up yet <laughs> but um had a we had was it last year or last year or two years ago I had a family friend um give us or give me a uh a, a 2012 bottle that definitely have kept still um i don't know it's just one of those bottles it's like you know i don't know if i'm gonna want to open a 2012 probably should before it gets too old and vinegary but yeah um it is cool to have maybe and it's not something but. else about this bottle of wine is that if again, it is a, a little bit of a pricier wine uh, to be an everyday drinker, but if you're looking for like a hostess gift, um, if you're mm -hmm. going to a house party mm -hmm. um, and you're looking for a hostess gift, uh, this wine just gets along with a lot of different people. It like like Michael said, if you mainly drink red wine and you don't get into the spicier notes of mm -hmm. the red wine, this is a perfect red wine for that kind of a wine drinker. Um, so this is something that I would definitely bring to someone as a gift because it's just, it's just a very easy to drink. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's great. Especially if you're trying to get into drinking more red wines and then, you know, getting into more of the cabs. Mm -hmm. I, this is a good a transition, transition mm -hmm. cab. Cause it's, again, it's more on the lighter side. Um, and it's. I mean, even if you don't like, um, if you don't like wine at all, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's really good. Uh -huh. uh, but I agree. This is a great bottle mm -hmm. as a gift, mm -hmm. um, to bring to, you know, a housewarming gift. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, again, it's reasonably priced, um, but excellent, excellent bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are a couple I know we showed how many bottles here? Seven, seven, seven ball, four sparkling wines, um, three reds. Didn't specifically sh present any of our favorite um, white wines, other than we mentioned a couple like the Chardonnay, mm -hmm. Jordan Chardonnay, Cake Bread has a mm -hmm. has a nice Chardonnay as and well. And yeah, and Sauvignon Blanc. Um, a good budget um, Sauvignon Blanc is a Ferrari Corano. Um, I think you can get that for like less than $15. Um, so if you're hosting a lot of people and you don't want to spend too much on wine, uh, the Ferrari Corano uh, yeah. Sauvignon Blanc is a good one. Um, trying to think if there's another... White wine? Oh, we we just had the, um, the Farniente, Farniente Chardonnay. Chardonnay. That was that, very good. That one's pretty good. A little bit on the on the pricier side, I would say it's like fifty six dollars a bottle, mm -hmm. I believe. That's very good. But just an easy for Chardonnay easy. again, like the Jordan, extremely easy to drink. Yeah, it doesn't have the heavy oak uh, mm -hmm. flavor. Um, it's just more light and citrusy. Um, yeah, almost what you would expect out of a Sauvignon Blanc, but just. I don't know, uh, just a little bit more earthy than a Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, so most Chardonnays typically are, are pretty dry, mm -hmm. um, in my opinion. So Farniente, Jordan, those are probably pretty similar. Um, I probably shouldn't say that because there's going to be some winos out there that it's like, <laughs> no, these guys, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> but uh, Cake Bread is another good Chardonnay. Um, it's pretty buttery. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's that's another good one. I don't know what else. Like I said, I'm not a big white wine drinker, but you know, there's. I know you're more of a Sauv Blanc. 
Yeah. Uh, speaking of um, Camus, the Camus family of wines uh, has uh, Jenny Wagner with her uh, label. Oh, yeah. Um, I would just it slip my mind. Oh, oh man. That's going to drive me it's, crazy. Uh, even I, I just forgot about it, too. Oh, what is it? Because they have that good Merlot, too, right? Is that the one you're... And Merlot. And Merlot, yes. Yeah. Delicious Merlot. And they also have a great Sauvignon Blanc. Um, so that's... If you're looking for the Camus family of wines, which is such a yeah. wide variety of wines, uh, Jenny Wagner is uh, Chuck Wagner's granddaughter. Um, so uh, that's, a, that's a great, great bottle. Or both the Merlot and the Sauvignon Blanc are great for them. We didn't touch on Merlot much today, but now that you... <laughs> and we might be getting into it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Emelo, that's excellent Merlot. Mm -hmm. um, Duck Duck Horn Merlot mm -hmm. is, is pretty popular. Um, one of the other wineries mm -hmm. that we went to uh, back okay. in July is Plum Jack. Um, well known for their cabs. But we had their Merlot that was it's delicious. That was very good. Mm -hmm. um, what other Merlots are there uh, that are good? I know I had a, I don't know. We did go to, um, what is the other little boutique winery back in November? Um, Peju. They have mm, a pretty decent a Merlot, Merlot too. Yeah. And I think that one's um, easily available. Or readily available mm -hmm. at, at the store. So, I think so as um, well. But yeah, duck horn you can get at the store pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Emelo is um, easily to be found at the stores. Uh, Prisoner. Which one? I don't know the name because uh, they call they they name their wines. Uh, don't they have a good Merlot? They have a good Zinfandel, and that's their Zinfandel is less than thirty. I know that. Yeah, the, just a prisoner label has weird names to mm -hmm. them, but has such a distinct um, label to them. Yes. But oh, I can't think of any of them. But that's that's a they're they're heavy on their blends, um, but also very good. Well, we, we're looking up some of them Pinot. here. Um, they do have a Pinot, don't they? I mean, I haven't had their Merlot. Merlot. I know, I yeah, haven't. I, haven't. I, I don't know. I, but I yeah, Prisoner is a great label. Um, but what else is there? What else? Where else did we go? In November? Or, or in July? July. We did Mom, yeah. of course. Um, cake Bread. Um, oh, we did Frank Family. Frank Family. Now, yes. Frank Family has a good Zinfandel, too. So, in fact, I believe we mentioned it when um, in our one of our, our, our Napa trip videos. We bought some bottles of Zinfandel at Frank Family and said that we were going to drink these um, for Thanksgiving. But uh, I also mentioned that it, they probably wouldn't last till Thanksgiving, and that's a fact. They're <laughs> gone. And it's... And like we mentioned, I guess in you know Thanksgiving is in a few days now, so we won't have any Frank Family Zinfandel drink. But do have Camus. We did yes. save those. And you can get Frank Family. Um, there are labels of Frank Family Zinfandel that are readily available as well. Yeah, there the uh, the Zinfandel that I uh, just mentioned is um, I believe the Reserve. They have their regular Zinfandel, and that one's reasonably mm -hmm. priced too, like mid. Mid twenties, I believe. So it's a good, um, good value uh, wine there, as well. Where, where else did we go? Uh, went to Nickel Nickel. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I've had a bad Nickel Nickel, um, but those are those are those are all great wines. Um, what else is there? I don't know. Hmm. Thanksgiving. I mean, all we talked about is wine, but I guess that's okay. Does anyone drink liquor during during Thanksgiving? I'm pretty sure they do. Like, yeah, I'm especially sure when you're do. when you're um, frying the turkey. Aren't you drinking beer during these yeah. these things? Mm -hmm. So you know, there's not. I won't get into beer because that's not 
Um, we don't drink beer that well. You don't, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, I mean, we can talk about liquor all day long, too, so <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> and on that, we hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. We hope For you enjoyed sure. our vodcast. Um, if you are interested in trying any of these wines, we hope uh, you can find them. And if you do try them, uh, let us know what you think. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe for more content and hit the notification bell so that uh, you can see our videos first. So um, happy holidays and we'll yeah. see you guys in the next one. What, in two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. Yeah, every other week. Mm -hmm. So... Maybe we have a special. We're going somewhere, so we'll we'll see. We'll we'll touch on that in two weeks. So, <laughs> so is that going to be a surprise? I guess it'll be. I guess it will be a surprise. I guess it is. Now. It was almost a surprise to me because I kind of forgot what you were talking about. What? <laughs> Anyways, catch you guys in two weeks. Bye. See ya.